Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with your anomaly video for this weekend. Um, as everybody has seen, we haven't had an update yet, so there's one thing. Um, so obviously it looks like this update's probably going to be put off till February. And after that, it looks like we're probably just going to get the Redux missions. Uh, the uh, Yep, see, my mind just fails me right there. So we're going to get the uh, the Redux uh, the missions that will be coming out, and we'll be looking forward to that as well. Uh, so keep an eye open for them. I expect that they're probably going to be in the next week or so. Maybe not next week. Maybe pops the week after that. We'll start seeing it. Usually on a Thursday is when the first one will come out. They'll play for two weeks, the next one for two weeks, and the next one for two weeks after that. So that's where we're going to stand with that. Okay, so let's uh, jump in my ship. Head over to the Anomaly. Wow, okay, yeah, a little bit of a stutter there, sorry. Always does that when it first starts up. Now is... Yep, my anomaly happens to be right there, and I'm not going to pull it in. I'm actually going to zip over to it real quick, because I'm in a system right now. I'm looking for Atlantid multi-tools, and I've pretty much scoured planets looking for the perfect tool. So it's taking a little while to go through it. So I don't want to mess up my system here. I want to stay in the system I'm at. And I want the anomaly to stay near the space station because, well, there's a lot of things to do. And I need to go back and forth between space station and anomaly and then jump back over to my freighter whenever I need to. So, anywho, we should be arriving there in just a couple seconds. And there we go. All right. I always have them facing each other. It makes it a little bit easier for me to get in and out of them. All right. So here we are. Arriving at our anomaly. Oh, okay. Yeah, that didn't uh, make me want to puke. Sorry about that. We'll see what the anomaly is going on. As far as streaming, we may be doing a live stream this weekend. We may not. I haven't decided yet. A lot going on, so we'll see what happens. You'll get an alert as usual. All right, let's see what's going on at the Nexus. And there's our mission at the top. Uh, let's see, civilized space. We have to construct an outpost. So this one usually takes an extra couple minutes, so make sure you have plenty of supplies on you and or your ship or your freighter so that you can have access to all that when you get there because usually it requires quite a bit. We'll get a circuit board out of it, which isn't really anything special. And we'll get some nanites. But, of course, we'll get the uh, 1,200 Quicksilver out of it, too. So I'm going to start the mission, and we'll get going. All right. And alert. There it is. And it's always something special they want to do with this base. It could be underwater. It could be on land. They'll have you build all kinds of wacky little things, but we'll see what happens here. Uh, reach the target planet. So it's going to kick us out, and as it kicks us out of the anomaly, as usual, it will throw us into hyperspace and into a different area. All right, let's see what happens here. See what new system we're going to discover today. And here we are. Ah, that's a very interesting space station. Black and red. I kind of like that. I haven't seen one like that before. Not in a while, anyway. Ah, uh, where is it sending me? Planet located. So is it behind me? Oh, yep, there it is. Down there. Reeking planet. Potential construction site. Okay. And it's taking me over on this side of the planet. All right. Looks like we already got a storm going on. Slow down just a touch. So it doesn't look like it's giving me any specific spot to stop, but we got a massive storm going on. Looks like we got storm crystals on top of it all. So, uh, yeah, if you don't have enough storm crystals in your inventory, now's a good time to uh, stock up on them, huh? Uh, this looks like a good enough place. Now, the lightning strikes, they also produce collectible storm crystals. Got to keep an eye open for that. I'll grab a couple of them while I'm here. Okay. So during lightning storms especially, you got to watch out for them. 
Now it's superheated, so our jetpack will be a little bit more useful to us. I'm going to grab them anyway. I've got a ton of them to begin with, but it's always nice to have a couple extras. And the storm's clearing, so that was the end of them all. All right, we got this big guy here. He's not going to attack me, is he? Unafraid, but he likes worms. Okay, we're good. Unless he considers me a worm, that is. That would be a problem. Okay, what do we got? How many creatures on this planet? It's... Three of eleven. Okay, that could take a while. And it looks like you're not going to attack me either. So basically, it says to establish a construction site. So we got to go. Let's go back to our ship over here. We'll create it over here. There we go. We need to drop a base computer down. So, uh, this looks like a good a, as good a spot as any. I can do it anywhere I want, so let's just go ahead and do it here. Okay, archives. Nobody else is here. Claim the site. Yeah, it looks like we got a trading outpost there to our right, as a matter of fact. Right over there. Actually, so let me see. Probably on the other side of that. It's a little further away than it's pointing out over here. Uh, so I can't pick it up. Oh, you know what? I have the wrong multi-tool. I think that's why. Am I right? I got that one. Let me pull up my main multi-tool and see if I can see anything. No? Alright, I'm not going to work about it. worry about it, though. So we'll go back to that multi-tool just because it's an Atlantid multi-tool and it's a little bit more powerful. Alright. So, here we go. What's our next thing? Uh, we need a cylindrical room, it says. So, let's go in the inventory. It's already got it highlighted. Requires pure ferrite. So, if you don't have enough in inventory, grab your ferrite. Start making it. 250 ferrite gives you 250 pure ferrite. Okay, what's next? Need a hollow door. Let's get the hollow door. A lot of times, they don't ask for power. So, if they're not asking for power, there's a good chance that you won't have to hook any of that up. But you can do it if you wanted to anyway. So, all right, so we got the hollow door in there. As you can see, the hollow door, gold, pure ferrite, silicate powder. Okay? So, next thing we want to do, it wants construction expansion core, glass roofed corridor. So, you're going to need glass for this. I happen to have some on me because I was doing other work with glass on a base that I'm building. So, let's go ahead and put it over here and here. So, 75 pure ferrite for those and the glass, of course. What's next? Cuboid room and a biodome. I'm going to do the biodome first, I think, because it would be easier. So let me get that because I want to put it right there. All right, and the cuboid room, I'm going to put... I don't think it has to be attached. So, and I don't really like those cuboid rooms. They're a pain in the neck. Let me see where they are at. I don't know if it's in here or not. Yep, there it is. And it wants how many of those? Six of them? So we're going to do it as if it's a garage, if you will. We're going to put three right there, and I'm going to build three more. One, two, and three. All right, so what do we need? So we can't get in and out of this. It is literally a box. So we'll look at it as being like a, car, uh, a cargo container. Now we need to decorate the base. It wants a kite patterned rug. Wow, do I even have that? I probably do, or else it wouldn't be telling me to build it. Um, we want some power here, because I want to be able to see. So I'm going to look for power. We don't have any hot spots. We're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. And it happens to be daylight, so let's do this. Solar panel, we need some metal plates. Let me go ahead and make, make a few just real fast here. Do-do-do, one... There we go. One, two, and we'll put one in the middle. Three. Just to give myself, 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 myself some power. I'm also going to throw a battery up here. Or two, so we can get some power going. But you see, they don't need to be hooked up with wires because they're actually literally right on top of this. They're all interconnected with each other right now. So we're building power as we speak. Good. And let there be light. So we need a, we need a rug. Need a rug. Let's see where we find a rug at. It looks like over in the decorations area. A patterned rug. Now with this rug, we can put it in any orientation we want. And another thing you can do with these is you can scale them up. So I'm going to make this rug huge. And I'm going to put it right in the middle over here. There we go. Yeah, won't let me spin it. Ah. Perfect. Right there. 
That's where I wanted it. Nice. I like how that kind of cuts through a little bit. That's actually kind of cool. All right. We need we need two of those. All right. Let's throw one more down, except we're going to put it right outside the door. I know that sounds weird. And we're going to make it much smaller. Like a welcome mat. Okay. Can't see it at all. That's okay. Don't care. Uh, square standing light is next. Let's see where that might be. <laughs> It'll usually highlight it for us. Uh, oh, it's over here. That's why. Square standing light. All right. So we'll put one over here. We need to make how many? Four of those? Ah, got to put the light in the right direction, right? Okay. It's not really helping us in here. So let's put it out here. Put another one there. Another one there. We'll throw another one over here. Now, of course, I have to do this because I have to do this. These need power. There we go. Okay, I feel better now. And what do we need next? We need a flag. Two flags. Um, okay. Flag, 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 flag. Probably over here. And I think we can choose any flag we want. Oh, it's specifically saying I need to use flag two. Yes, okay, I see it now. All right, we're going to put one over here on the corner. I'm going to put another one over here. It looks like we got another storm coming, I think. There we go, so two flags. And that's it. We are literally done with our base. We just have to upload it. All right, so let's upload our base. Registration. And upload. And we are complete. That is is all it takes. Now, it does take a lot of pure ferrite, as you can see. So make sure you get plenty of ferrite dust so you can convert that into pure, fer uh, into pure ferrite. And if you can brave the storm with the... If you have the right shield on your uh, person and you can brave the storm, by all means, hang out for the, uh, the, the, the storm crystals because, you know, those things are really, really handy. It's good to have them. So that's something you can do as well. All right. So we're going to go ahead and head back to the anomaly now. All right, off we go. And we do have to pull it in because there's no other way to get there, of course. There we go, boink. And on our merry little way. So the system we're in is, let me just check something real quick. All right, Viking system, formidable conflict level, adequate, so it's a two-star uh, economy. Um, and it appears to see this copper here, so this is a regular system. No special system here like emerald or anything like that. Okay. So now you know what kind of system you're dealing with as well. And I'm going to leave the base there for now. I could always come back to the space and delete it. No need to, but there you are. And we're done. So we're going to check out two more things. We're going to go ahead and turn in our mission at the Nexus over there. And then the second thing we'll do is we'll check out the Quicksilver vendor and just see what's available. Because as more parts are becoming available, and usually when that happens, when they start to all sell out, or go away, or you've acquired all of them, that's when something big is going to happen. So we're going to complete the mission, and there we go. And that gives us our Quicksilver. Good deal. Let's head over to our head over to our Quicksilver vendor and take, check it out. Great items. All right. So it looks like the covered crate is now available, and as you can see, the covered silos. Let me go ahead and inquire that now. And the covered silos are at thirty-two percent. We'll probably complete that before the end of the weekend. I'm thinking. So I'm. You, we may be looking at the Redux missions next week, as soon as next week. So. That should be where this ends. All right, good deal. So that should take care of it, folks. And that's what's available in our vendor as well. And I want to thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. Please like and subscribe. And by all means, if you're already subscribed normally to me, please check the subscriptions. Because there's a good chance you may have been unsubscribed without realizing it. There's something going on on YouTube that is unsubscribing people by accident. So keep an eye open for that and just check to make sure that that isn't the case with you. 
again i want to thank you all for watching um there's going to be some new things available on my channel very very soon please watch for them including a uh, ability to join the channel too uh, i don't ask anybody to do so you can if you wish i try to keep the price down low so you don't have to worry about spending a whole lot of money but thank you very very much for your support and for watching me uh for this past year really appreciate it all and we will see you all in the next video take care everybody